What's up everybody? Alright, I'm back with another Domination Station tutorial and this one is about editing your lineups on FanDuel. Um, for some reason, people have a difficult time using the Domination Station or just generally figuring out how to edit a bunch of lineups. So I'm going to take you through the process start to finish in such a way that it's so easy and so simple, even a caveman could do it. Alright, let's start with the initial upload. So here I am and it's Saturday afternoon right now and I'm going out today so uh, I'm not really even going to have time to manage any lineups. So I'm just going to do 50 lineups that we're going to enter into the quarter arcade today for the purposes of this demonstration. It's called putting your money where your mouth is. I'm not even going to be around to check this later but maybe I'll take down a big prize. Who knows? Alright so I just generated 50 lineups. Here's how we Here's how we start off doing everything. Download our lineups. I like to name them but you know I'm not going to right now. So um, got my lineups downloaded. Boom. Gonna go into FanDuel, getting the quarter arcade going. Here's how you enter lineups, uploading them using the CSV. Okay, let's find that lineup we just generated. It's always gonna be the highest number, conveniently. So it's always that one. We're gonna open that and upload it. And here we go. That's 50 lineups entered. Go to upcoming. Woo! Gonna make some money in the quarter arcade. All right, now let's say I want to, some news comes out and I wanna make a change. I wanna change them all. Here's how this works. I'm gonna go click here. CSV edit. Download a CSV template. Okay, name it. The, uh, Fandle names it by the date, which is fine, but there's a lot of freaking words in there. So I do FD. Three, three ten. Okay, good enough. Today's three ten. FT three ten. That's our upload, and I, I like to write the word edit. Boom. FT three ten edit. Right. Crap. Now go to my Google Drive. I'm gonna throw this in here. My edit file. Okay. Open that up. Google Sheets. Open with Google Sheets. This is the edit file we just downloaded from FanDuel. Now, I only entered this one contest. So, technically, you don't have to do um, a whole lot of changing. But what I like to do first, normally there'll be not just this one contest, but a whole bunch of different ones. So it's like, when I'm doing my edit, I just want to edit my quarter arcade entries, let's say, in this case, or my uh, mass multi-entry, not my head-to-heads and my other stuff. So what I usually do is, the first thing is I'll freeze this first line, freeze, one row, that'll freeze here. Then I'll sort by con uh, contest ID to make sure that all of this one contest that I want is together. Now when I look here, I got 51 entries, 2 to 51, that means I have 50 contests that I can change. These are the entries right now. This is a very important note. If I go back to FanDuel, I X this out and I go to the lobby and I enter another contest right now. Let's say it's just a head to head, nothing to do with that grouping. This will not work. You have to ed download a new CSV template from scratch. If you messed with anything on FanDuel between the time when you download your edit file and the time when you fix it. All right, so let's go through the process here. Now I'm gonna go back to my domination station optimizer. Right, and I'm going to say I want to jack up my exposure to Daytona Davis. So I'm going to slap a like or a love on that bitch. What up? Let's redo this. Let's say we sound out Daytona Davis is starting. All right, let's redo this. Boom. Run a new set of lineups. Give me some Daytona. That's my dude. He's not really my dude. Actually, I want a little Nico Lavukovic. So I'm going to make this a little more real, just in case I don't have time to actually edit these later. I don't think I will, because I'm going out tonight. So um, let's slap a little love on Vuk, mainly because he stunk it up last night, and I like that. I like going back to that guy who sucked yesterday. So now we're getting some Vuk in Daytona. Yes, I like it. All right, so when we're done, now I want to edit my file. All. Download. Now I'm going to call this one 
actually I don't need to change the name again because it's always every time I download a new lineups it's uh the number is higher than the previous one therefore you don't need to mess with it we just save it now we're going back to the Google Drive okay bring this in open it open with Google Sheets okay guys the magic is about to happen this is super complicated so Come very close to the screen. Get your pen and paper out. Pay very close attention to this. It's not easy. All right, here's what we want to do. We're going to go. Start at row two. We're going to copy this. Scroll all the way down. Ready till the end. That's 50 lineups. Hit the word copy. This is where it gets confusing. Okay, some people put it here. Or some people want to put it here. Go to the first box under the first PG column right click paste booyah ready for that look at this all new lineups have been entered but we're not done yet okay now we're gonna go file download as CSV or comma separated value file okay now this is gonna show up in your thing as with a double double name this is very important because you don't want to re-upload the same file you want to make sure you're uploading the correct one so when you download this it's going to see it's going to show the name twice found due to fd310edit.csv-fd310edit.csv let's save it okay back to draft i haven't i haven't messed with fanduel at all let's look for it edit here it is open it Upload it. You are done. 50 lineups edited. It took me five minutes. The key to success in especially daily fantasy basketball is the ability to pivot and make adjustments on the fly. You saw how long that took me. We are seven minutes into this video and I spent the first two or three minutes a lot of time talking about it and generating those lineups so within three to five minutes I can make a change rerun the domination station edit 50 lineups that means if I hear news five minutes till before lock I have enough time to make a mass edit without too much issue pull a player out of a list boom go back to it run it again put them in whatever you gotta do good stuff I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. And I will be pulling maybe Dennis Smith Jr. out of my lineups because he's a game time decision. What up? Anyway, good luck, everybody. I hope this helped.